Notifications suck. I mean, most notifications suck. And one of the biggest pain points for me is that I want to get headlines and news from news apps that I have on my phone. And I want to get engagement notifications on social media apps that I actually like. But it feels more like a distracting fire hose. And I wanted a solution to that. Well, I was listening to Upgrade, a great podcast, uh, relay.fm slash upgrade. I'll link it in the description. And they mentioned, one of their uh, listeners wrote in and mentioned the notifications summary. So you can do a, a summary of notifications for certain apps. That's what I want to show you how to do today. I turned it on and it's an absolute game changer. So let's look at how to do that. I am going to bring up my iPhone here, and there we go. So first, let me show you what it looks like. I took a screenshot because I don't want to keep that in my notifications center. Um, but this is this is what it could look like. Sometimes the designs vary. Uh, the first one I saw was like really nice. It it looked like a very well designed thing, and it probably depends on the sources and the types of stories there are and things like that. But this is what it looks like. You get this uh, as often as you'd like or as um, unoften as you'd like. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First, we're going to go into settings. And the first thing that you need to know is that you need to have, you already need to have notifications turned on for the apps you want to have in scheduled summary. So if you don't have notifications on, go through your apps and turn them on. I had to do this for AP News, New York Times, Artifact, and then the social apps like Twitter, Threads, uh, and LinkedIn and Instagram. So once those are all on, you're ready to create the scheduled summary. So you can press scheduled summary. This should be in your notification section. And then you can set times for the scheduled summary. So you can see I set this up when I just had news apps. I added social apps later, but uh, you can uh, set the times you want. So I have a scheduled summary for 640 a.m. That's shortly after I wake up and 8 p.m., which is the latest I, I ever want to read about news. So those are the two times. And then you can choose the apps by default. The apps will be organized by weekly notifications average. So if you're like, I'm getting way too many apps or notifications from this app, you can put it in scheduled summary. You can see that the biggest offender for me is the MLB app, and I don't want scheduled summary. I want to know immediately when something happens in baseball. So that gets pushed to me uh, as quickly as possible. But then I have news and social apps here. So that's how you set up scheduled summary. You set up your times, you pick your apps, you can also organize the list A to Z. Uh, one pitfall, I think, in this is that you can't group apps by type. So I can't say I want my scheduled summary for news at six and eight, and I want my scheduled summary for socials at say noon. Uh, you're going to get every app in this in every scheduled summary. Uh, now, if you're wondering for social apps specifically or, or other direct notification uh, or direct messaging or time sensitive apps, uh, there is a way uh, to there is a way around that in scheduled summary. So you can see in Instagram, Instagram allows direct messages. So I have it set to allow delivery immediately for direct messages because uh, there are a few people who I talk to primarily on there. When my brother's at work, he basically uses Instagram uh, because he can't use like the I guess the Instagram app uh, on the web. Um, that's usually how he sends me stuff. But any apps that allow direct messages or time sensitive notifications, you can exclude from the scheduled summary. So there you have it. That is how you can use the scheduled summary to clean up your notifications. I think this is great if you want to get the news, but you don't necessarily want to get every breaking news story like a turtle crossing a street is not breaking news. Sorry, New York Times. Um, or if you want to engage on social media. So here's a really good use case for that, right? If you want to engage with people on Twitter, you can turn notifications on for those people. But if they tweet a lot uh, and you don't want your phone buzzing all day, you can set up a scheduled summary for Twitter. And then you can go through and view all of your notifications and pick that specific time 
to engage on Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever. So uh, that's it for this video. If you have ideas for how you're going to use scheduled summary in iOS, leave a comment below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, get out there and build something.